Hello YouTube fam and what is good? We are tuning in today. Today I might let you guys see what's underneath this cap if you're lucky. But I've been seeing a lot of yellow eyeshadow reviews so I decided I wanted to try that myself. So I'm gonna give it a try again. I'm not a makeup professional. I'm just a girl that loves makeup. So I'm gonna try and reenact my own type of yellow eyelid look. So just stay tuned. Also, and if you are a new subscriber, if you happen to stumble upon my page, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment and join the family. So stay tuned, we'll go ahead and get started and pray for me that this comes out right. Okay, so as you guys already know, I already did my face, I already primed my eyelids. It's the same process that it always is. So today, this isn't really a tutorial or a product review. This is just simply me trying to create an eye look. So if you guys wanna know how to do it, just stay tuned. Like I said, I'm not a professional, but I can get you there. I think I can do a couple of things to get you there. But just stay tuned, and we can do this together, me and you. We can do this together, both of us. All right, stay tuned. You guys know what I freaking forgot? I forgot my tape. Banana. Make the pigment a little bit stronger. I'm gonna take my little finishing spray. I'm just gonna spray the brush just so I can pick up a little bit more of that pigment. Okay you guys, so even though I feel like I look like a clown, I'm gonna try and salvage this look. I'm gonna make something happen because I don't feel like washing my face and having to start all over. We just gonna have to make this work. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much already put on my eyelashes and you guys already know the drill. I'm about to do my bottom lashes. Okay, you guys, do not laugh at me. This is gonna take a ton of, oh, I got the stick on my teeth. Do not laugh at me, you guys. This is gonna take a ton of courage. So, drum roll, please. I'm about to take off my direct. 
I'm about to look like silly, so don't laugh. So, it's pinned in the background, so it looks like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the pins, and this is a twist out that I tried to do yesterday, but I wasn't able to take it out, so I figured, why not do it today for you guys? It's a little bit flat. But hopefully we can make something work and something will come out good. Something will come out good with this. Unravel this for you. I know I look a little bit crazy. But... All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the back. I'm not gonna zoom you in all that close. I think you guys pretty much get the picture. I'm gonna grab a piece, and as you guys can see where it naturally separates, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out like that. And then that way you'll have a curl. My hair shrinks a lot, so. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the back. And I'll get back to you guys once I move around to the front because it's basically just taking it out, separating it, I'm not even to the fluffing part. I know you guys, I know I'm still looking a little bit crazy, but like I said, my hair, it shrinks a lot. So even though it'll be like that, it's gonna shrink all the way like that. That's just how it works with my hair. Next, we're gonna go ahead and work from this angle all the way up to the crown of your head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I know it looks a little bit crazy. So this is where, because my hair grows up, it doesn't go down, it doesn't have a lot of weight. So I use my fingers and I manipulate it and I basically try to make it fall to the front. So I take a curl. I know, I know, I look a little crazy right now. The joys of 4C hair is that you can literally pat it however you want it. I don't want to mess up the definition up top, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take a couple of bobby pins and to make the top a little bit longer at the bang area, since it does grow up, I'm going to go ahead and take some bobby pins and I'm going to pin the bang in place. So what you guys are going to do, you're going to take your hair like this. And I already patted the back down. I mean, if you guys don't want the back patted down, you don't have to. That's just my look. And that is my box 
Taper Pro, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this look. Again, I used this look. This is an old one. I did it last night. And I only used two products and that was Cream of Nature. But if you guys wanna know more about that, just hit me up into the comments or just let me know and I'll be glad to give you a tutorial on that. So anywho, you guys, that is my look for today. Yellow eyeshadow with my Taper Fro. All right, so without further ado, you guys, I will see you guys all next time and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was a quick one, but I decided to do it anyways for you guys. So. I love you guys 